Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I will be doing a review on Dior's new Forever Liquid lipsticks. I'm so excited to try these out. You know I love my long wearing type of liquid lipsticks and I'm really excited to try these out. Now this will be a series video, one of two, and it will be dedicated to Dior's new Forever releases. They also recently released a new Dior Forever Nude foundation and I thought I would do a two series type of video where I review the liquid lipsticks in this one and I will upload a, another video reviewing the foundation as well. So if you guys are interested in Dior's new Forever Liquid Lipsticks, then please continue watching. I did purchase four liquid lipsticks and I did purchase nudes as well as reds. I wasn't going to purchase any reds just because I don't normally wear red lipsticks during the summertime, but I couldn't resist because I love long wearing lipsticks when they're in a red shade. Reds are so difficult to keep reapplying so when they're in a long wearing type of formula I absolutely love it so these are the four lip shades that I purchased and it also came with little gifts so let me show you guys what they sent me so it came with this little J'adore gift set and personally J'adore isn't one of my favorite type of perfumes how cute is this little set it comes with a little mini J'adore parfum and also a body milk. Yeah, it's a body milk. Beautiful, I love the presentation of this. Oh, I wish I loved this perfume. I just don't really enjoy the scent that much, but I will keep it and gift it to someone. And then we have the stars of this package, the Forever Liquid Lipstick. They do come in several different shades, so I purchased two nudes as well as two reds. So I'm gonna go with the lightest to darkest. This one is in shade 458 Forever Paris. This looks like a gorgeous shade. These are so pigmented. Beautiful. It has a sheen to it. I am really surprised. I thought these would be completely matte. The next shade is in 558 Forever Grace. So this is Forever Grace. Very beautiful shade. I really am loving both of these shades. Then we have 760. This one is in Forever Glam. This is a gorgeous red shade. Ooh. So pretty. This is a classic type of Dior red. The final shade that I purchased is 959. This one is in Forever Bold. Let's see if it's as dark when I swatch it. Oh yeah. This is very dark. So pretty. This will be perfect during the fall season. Here are the swatches. Gorgeous shades. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and zoom you guys in and let's try these liquid lipsticks out. Let's first start off with the lighter shades. This one is in 558 Forever Grace. This is so gorgeous. And they're so comfortable to wear as well. They definitely do go on matte, so they do lose that sheen once they dry down, but so gorgeous, I am in love. I also really love the applicator to these liquid lipsticks, so I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but you can see a little dip in the applicator, and that allows for more lipstick to kind of pull in there, so when you apply, you don't have to kind of dip back in to the pot. So beautiful and I love the tip. It makes it so much easier to apply the lipstick. I've had this on for about a minute now, so let's go ahead and see. So just stamping it, nothing comes off. So a little bit does come off when you're more rigorous. So let's see, since this is a two series type of video, when I go ahead and do a wear test of the foundation, I am definitely going to do a wear test or a full day wear test of the lipsticks as well. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the shades. Now we're going to try number 458 in Forever Paris. This is actually lighter than the one that I previously tried on. 
And if you guys are wondering, I just used regular micellar water on a cotton pad and removed the lipstick. And even though it was a little bit difficult to remove, it wasn't too bad. This is a really gorgeous pink. It's such an everyday type of shade. I love it actually with my makeup today. It looks gorgeous, very, very pretty. I think this might be one of my favorite shades for sure. I just really love those nude type of neutral shades on my lips. I feel like I use these all the time. This is so pretty. I really love this. Next, let's try out the red shades. Now, as you can see, these lipsticks definitely are staining my lips and they are getting a little bit harder to remove. So I feel like as these dry down, they kind of become more long wearing, which is exactly what they should be doing. So let's try 760. This one is in Forever Glam. This is such a gorgeous classic Dior red shade. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I love that it's long wearing as well. So you don't have to reapply it throughout the day. This is perfect. I think that this is the perfect red shade. So beautiful. It's definitely messy to remove these lipsticks, but let's go ahead and try this last lipstick. This one is in 959 Forever Bold. This is the darkest shade that I purchased. This is also such a gorgeous shade. I feel like this would be the perfect fall shade. So I definitely see myself wearing this quite a bit in the fall season, but really pretty. I'm really loving the texture to these lipsticks as well. They're so comfortable to wear and I've applied now four of them and my lips feel fine. So they don't feel parched or dry in any way. So those are four of the Forever Liquid lip shades that I chose and I personally love each and every one of them. I feel like each one kind of goes well with different seasons. I really love the 458. This one is in Forever Paris, just a gorgeous, pink shade that is an everyday type of liquid lipstick shade. Forever Grace is a little bit more of a darker shade. I really love it also for everyday, but more of an evening out type of liquid lipstick. Very beautiful. Then we have Forever Glam and Forever Bold, the two red shades that I purchased. Forever Glam is so gorgeous, and honestly, I feel like this is one of my favorite red lipsticks that I have tried thus far in a liquid type of lipstick formula. And Forever Bold is what I'm wearing right now, so gorgeous and I think that this is the shade that I'm going to use to do a full day wear test. My first impression of these lipsticks is I really love them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I feel like they go on so beautifully. They do dry down to a matte type of finish that is gorgeous. They actually remind me of the Chanel Ultra Tene lipsticks without the gloss finish and I feel that they can be a competition to them. I really love the Chanel Ultra Tene. I feel like I wear those lipsticks the most just because they're so long wearing but I think that I have found a match to them. So I'm going to end this video here, but be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. I will be uploading the Forever Nude Foundation first impression and wear test most likely tomorrow in the Dior Forever series. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to catch that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Okay, I just made a mess. <laughs> oh my God, this is... <laughs>